This is MathGuy.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. What we're going to do today is evaluate some functions. All right, well, first of all, we're given two pieces of information that are really crucial. We have f of x here, and it's defined as negative x plus 3. And we've got g of x, and it's this picture of a graph. And this graph, of course, is a function. All right, what we want to do then is answer the following question. Given f of x and the diagram below, which of the following statements are correct? And here we've got three statements to determine if they are correct or not. All right, I'm going to give you a chance to try this problem, and we'll come back and discuss what the right answer is. So pause the video now, and we'll get right back and figure out what the right answers are. All right, now that you've had a chance to give a get a crack at the problem and let's discuss what the correct answer is. All right, well, first of all, let's figure out what f of 2 is. All right, when determining f of 2, that just means you're going to replace the x with 2. And everything else in the function stays the same. So this is negative 2 plus 3, so we know the answer to that is 1. All right, so we know that f of 2 is equal to 1. All right, now let's figure out what g of negative 3 is. All right, now when we do that, it just means x is negative 3. So we go on the graph here, we say, all right, here's negative 3. Let's go down until we hit the graph. And we say that, oh, it looks like the corresponding y value that matches with that right here. Okay, right here is where negative x is negative 3 and y is, looks like, negative 4. Okay, so that point right on the graph, the y value is negative 4. Okay, so this statement says, is f of 2, that's 1, is it less than g of negative 3, which we, is, which we have here is negative 4. Is 1 less than negative 4? No. No, it is not. Okay, let's try b. So I'm going to erase this so we can get to b. All right, let's uh, calculate f of 3 for part b. All right, well, let's see, f of 3... Now we're going to replace the x value with 3. Okay, so this says negative 3 plus 3, and we know that negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. All right, now let's figure out what g of 3 is by reading the graph. All right, so over here we go g value here is 3, and we can see that the corresponding y value of that point on the red line, so when x is 3, it looks like the y value is 0 at that point. Okay, so what does this statement say? Is f of 3, 0, equal to g of 3, which we know there is 0? Yes, they are equal. So part b is a correct statement. All right, I'm going to erase this. We'll get to part c. All right, for part c, let's evaluate what g of 0 is. Okay, well, let's see. G of 0, let's see. When x is 0, that's what that means. When x value is 0, we can see the corresponding y value on this line is negative 2. So the y value is negative 2 at that point. All right, now let's figure out what f of 7 is. All right, well, let's put in negative 7. I'm sorry, positive 7 in for x and add 3. Okay, so if we do add those, it looks like I'm getting negative 7 plus 3, and that is negative 4. Okay, so now let's do what it says here to do. It says to take g of 0, that's negative 2, and we're going to subtract f of 7, that's negative 4. We want to determine, is that greater than 2? Okay, so I want to figure out, when I subtract these two values, this value, subtract that value, is it going to be greater than 2? All right, well, let's see. I got negative 2 plus 4, because I got two negatives, make a positive. And let's see, I got negative 2 plus 4 is 2. Okay, now we determine, is this true or false? Is 2 greater than 2? It is certainly not. Okay, there you have it. We had a problem there. And uh, we solved it. So it looks like the only correct answer is Part B. So make sure you go back to MathGuide.com. Check out our interactive quizzes, instructional videos, and text lessons. Take care.